wife and children instead. Anything! <laughs> ah, wife and children. Sounds like a good idea.
Chuta, Unga could be Dolby Kikuyana. Don't Patugas Patelia. Unga could One could be his ching balamule, Tunking Babuka. Tokning Chatukunde, Mulegares. Muchachat Bakat. Kino no Nama Paule Rachiku. Takunjus Kahmiki, Grabu Moko, Kachichu, Ita Bodunga, Tolga Bank, Waleo Ganda Naru, Chuchut, Mogesha Punga, Bola Wana Chikle, Amules Limo, Podadara, Naka Kumbis, Ule Rabes, Jitabadawana Nigibobo, Tonga Bungsha Nunya, Tonga Tukashmak Telea. Da! Tonga Kunhanga. On the Kumbes, Ching Palamule, Tunking Babunota, Tok Ninja Tukunde, Mulegaves, Ka Chikun Ida Hodonga, Iking Kuno Pamulera Chikun, Spimo Podona, the Diodunga Kukabe, Tong Haitwam Jiji Jung Lumpa, Nita Poe Tikito, Dolpa da Bongwaleo, Gandona Chuchu. Kachi chu ita dun donga. You malita kuto dun. Chilamula ne ni du bobo. Onga kumbis chan ba mulera. Onga kuto donga kumhanga. Onga kumbis ching ba la mule. Tunking ba muta. Tuk ning chatu kunde mulera ves. Kachi kun ita donga. I king kuno pa mulera chikun. Spimo po donar de hodunga kun kabe. Runda di hodunga kun hankabi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tunking ba nunotak. Tuk ning chatu kun de mulera bez. Ka chikun ita hodunga. 
e que engono para mulherar Stimo podonar o de Rodunga com um cabé. Ronda de Rodunga com um cabé. Onde com dez ching para a mulher, um quim ba no notec. Tu nincha tu com de mulherabes. Cá te com ita Rodunga. E que engono para a mulherar Stimo podonar o de Rodunga com um cabé. Ronda de Rodonga com Honka B. Onde com Bez Ching Palamule, Tung King Ba no Notec, Tung Ning Chatu com Ne Mulherabes. Muito chato para cá. Que no no nome Paulé Rachiku. Greetings, apprentice. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help you with this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi and Clay from the central government facilities here in Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Cold Anetic, Ricard Lusoff, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Netic. Is there any information you require? These plains are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Cath hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by cath hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? Very well. I will be here to assist you. Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handon Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? Really? <clears throat> well, then I assure you, on my reputation, I had nothing to do with the killing. I will help you with the case as best I can, though. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. And I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river. And I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Well, I was out hunting Iriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handon standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handon to the prison he belongs in? So, what do you want to know? Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. So, what do you want to know? I told you already, didn't I? Was hunting some areas. Haven't seen many in the area recently, but with those cat hounds acting up. But they're still around. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one, like I said before. I shot, 
pow, went down. But when I come over here, there's Handed standing over the body and the eerie as was gone. Now I don't have nothing to do with this, so can I go now? So, well, I was out hunting Eriaz south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. The sun was pretty much right behind it, though, so I couldn't see it none too clearly. I shot, and when I came over here, I found Handon standing over the body, holding his side. There wasn't an Eriaz in sight. I think he might have taken it. Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. Bullock's got that now. Mine, too. I want that back. Right. How can I be of further assistance? In injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bantha. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. How can I be of further assistance? I was taking my daily constitutional. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. Yes, quite often. I generally prefer running to anything else. Can't stand speeders. A healthy body will breed a healthy mind, as I always say. <laughs> How can I be a further... Yeah, well, actually, I, I didn't see anything. I was over across the bridge. I heard a shot and came over. I can tell you I was sure surprised to see Calder's body lying there. I just got here when I saw Rickard coming out of the rocks holding his blaster. I was terrified. I had no idea what he was going to do, so I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave. Master Baluk came out here with his droid and he started questioning us. I, I think he really doesn't understand what's going on. I hope that you'll be able to make a more informed decision and get me out of here soon. I have things I have to do. Of course. Of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Kupa <laughs> Tolba <laughs> You malita kuto tun. Chila mula ne ni du bobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulera. Mucha shat pa khat. Kiye no no dama pa ole rachikun. Ah, pakupa che kupa. Jino mulera kenpai ja kislimo po duama. Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa ni ta poe tikitu dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchu ka chi chu i ta dundonga yu malita kuto tun chila mulane ni du bobo wonga kumbis jang ba mulera ta kumju stak miki grabu mogo ka chi chu i ta bodunga dolba bank waleo ganda naru chuchu Mulesimo <laughs> So, what do you want to know? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. 
We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. So, what do you want to know? You Jedi are so predictable. Always seeing some greater purpose behind everything. When the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. Right. How can I be of further assistance? I knew him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. In truth, I didn't really want to. He had a... reputation. A very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? How can I be of further assistance? Um, well, you see, Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard. Disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. I've even heard he had dealings with a hut. A hut here on Dantooine. Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man, but I tell you, I hardly knew him. I saw him once or twice, yes, and I've heard some pretty unkind things about him, but certainly nothing that would make me want to kill him. Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Is there any other information you need? The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past several weeks, a Speeder had been rented by Mr. Netic and Mr. Gould. Is there any other information you need? According to the municipal authorities near the Garang spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusok was making accusations at a Mr. C. Netic about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? Very well. Kupa. <laughs> Tukning <laughs> ロンドディホトンガ君半かびわなくんべしちんばらもれとんきんばののてとくにんちゃとくんねもれらべちょっと待ってわなにぎぼぼとんがぶんしゃとんはいとんじじろんドあこぱちこぱじのもれらけん
Kachi kun itaho donga. Ikin kun o pamunerachi kun. Svimo podo mucheshak pakat. Kieno no. So, what do you want to know? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. Ichani's make delicate weapons with too little firepower. Lightweight stuff, if you ask me. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. So... Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. Right. How can I be of further assistance? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous calf hounds around. Even an Eries can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? But I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. My wife was cheating on me with him. He slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Of course, of course. Is there any other information you... We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact he did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information... I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with any... I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other information? Very well. We are... Akupa? Are... Akupa? Is there any other information you need? I have just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been sent back to the Enclave just before you arrived. The blood on the weapon is definitely not Calder's. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory, and it had become degraded. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any other in- Very well. Kupa Gino Mulera Kimpaija Kislimo Podwama Runda di Hotonga Kun Hunkabi 
Ohne Kun bis Ching Palamule, Tunking Ba Nunotek, Tugning Chatukune, Mule Rabes. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Chitu Baduana Nidi Bobo, Tung Nabungsha Nununya, Tung Patukas Maktalea. Kachikun Ita Haldonga, Iking Kuno Ba Mule Rachikun, Simo Podona, Nunde Haldonga Kunkabe. Tunga di ho tunga kun honka bi. Ona kun bez ching palamule tungking ba nunotek. Tuk ning cha tu kun ne mune rabes. Tung abom sha umino. Wanda kun bez keng balemuraya. Chun yun tun chichi ita duana. Kava volpa muji duana. Ta kumjus tak miki gravel mogo kachichu ita bodunga dolba bank wale uganda naru chuchut mogo shia punga bola wana chikne ba mule slimo poda dara nanga kumbis mule rabes kachikun ita bodunga iking kuno ba mule rachikun slimo poda naru di bodunga kuhunga be. Runda di ho tunga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tungking ba nunotek. Tuk ning cha tu kun ne mune rabes. Tung hai tuam jiji jung lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolpa da bongwalea gandona chuchut. Ka chi chu ita dundonga. Yuma lita kuto tun. Chila mulane nindu bobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulera. Damn you. Damn both of you. Ta kumjus tak miki grabul mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank wale uganda naru chuchut. Mule sha punga bola wana chikne. Ma mule slimo bodadara nanga kumbis mulera bes. Kachikun ita bodunga. Iking kuno ba mulera chikun. Simo po dona rundi ho dunga ku hunga be. Tung hai tuam jiji jung lumpa. Nita po e tikito. Dolpa da bongwalea gandona chuchut. Ka chi chu ita dundonga. Yuma lita kuto tun. Chila mulane nindu bobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulera. Achuta. Wonga kumbis dolpi kikuyana. Tung patugas maktilia. Remember? 
I was dating your brother back on Terra. Nina, what are you doing here? Where's Griff? I'm just passing through. Griff and I broke up a few months after we left Terra together. Probably for the best. Your brother can be charming, but he's bad news. Don't you start trashing my brother, you cantina rat. Take that back or I'll smack you so hard your head tails will pop off. Listen, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? You've got your facts a little backwards. Mission could have come with us if you wanted to. It was her choice to stay behind. You liar! Griff told me that you didn't want his little sister tagging along. That's why he had to leave me behind. Is that what the hut spawn told you? I wanted you to come with us, Mission. I even offered to pay for your ticket. Why not? I paid for everything else while I was with that free loader. But he told me you didn't want to leave Terrace. I said we shouldn't even go then. He said we'd come back and get you after we struck it rich on Tatooine. No, he lies. No, you're the one who's lying. Griff wouldn't... He wouldn't try to leave me behind. Think about it. If Griff wasn't trying to ditch you, Mission, then why didn't he tell you where we were going? After we left Terrace, he told me looking after you was holding him back. He was looking to blame other people for his own problems. That's why he abandoned you. He did the same thing to me, too. As soon as I ran out of money, he started blaming me for all his problems. Like it's my fault his get rich quick schemes never work out. Smart, you forget about that no-good con artist. But Griff is my brother. I, I just can't pretend he doesn't exist. If he was here to defend himself, Nina wouldn't be saying all this bad stuff about him. Hey, if you want to talk to Griff, go ahead. Last I heard, he was going to make a fortune working the Zerka Corp mines on Tatooine. But as far as I'm concerned, he's out of my life forever. Griff's better off without you anyway, you table-dancing, brother-stealing, home-wrecker. I guess it's meant for you to leave then. I didn't mean to upset you, Mission. But one day you'll see I'm right about your brother. I only hope it's not too late by then. Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> stimulants make a warrior out of even the weakest human. Here's a speed-boosting stimulant to help you get quicker. There anything else you need? Hey, don't worry. I think you've got enough there as it is. You don't want to overload yourself on stims. Otherwise, you might destroy your adrenal system. A real warrior knows his own limits and doesn't overestimate himself. There anything else you need? From what we saw from space, this world doesn't have a lot of people. I couldn't really have found much work here anyway, so I never had an interest. It looks like a farm world. The Republic has thousands of these places. Ones that get by farming crops and hunting herds of native beasts. But I might have underestimated this place. It seems to be more than I thought. Do you have anything else you want to ask? I was one of the best youth warriors in the Clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Except Mandalore himself, of course. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements.
I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming battle. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how to beat it. You must know that. The doors opened in front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop base, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. The exhilaration, the euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons was unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. I'll never forget those times. But things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something else you want to know? Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Thank you. 
Yeah, what are you? Hey, a real warrior knows his own limits and doesn't there anything else? Hey, don't worry. I think you've got enough there as it is. A real there anything? Your Yes, what's on your mind? Dentoin? That's all I... You got it. Hey there, what can I do for you? Wanna practice your skills, eh? Sure, I'll play a few hands. Just for practice, though. I don't wanna bet with you.
Just so happy. Anything else? No problem. Anything? No pro. Any? No pro. Anything? No. Anything else? No pro. 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 Anything else? Sorry. What?
Juhani, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. <sighs> what is it you want? Why do you bother me? The Council has sent you here to kill me. Why then? When you bested me so easily, did you not simply finish your task? Is it not apparent that I can never be saved? Lies! Leave me and come back when you have the courage to finish your task. What? You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? I do not believe it. Kill me now while you still have the power. Lies. The Count's... Lies. The Count's... Lies. The... You... You do not? I am pathetic. I sit here and think myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. I thank you for your kind words, Jedi. You seem to know just what affects me. I seem to still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. It is. It is. Leave me to my pain. I do not know what... It is. Leave... I do not know... 
It is. Leave. I do not know. I only wish things could have been different. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. I think, in my own way, I truly loved her. How can the Council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. I should convince them that I am truly repentant. That I am willing to forsake the dark side. And maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I've done? I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. If only there was some way I could make this up to you. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. Thank you for saving me, Master Jedi. I am C-842, a personal assistant droid. Who knows? They are beasts and have been very aggressive of late. I am sorry if I seem a bit abrupt, but I must be moving along. I am rather in a hurry. From my master, Elise. Wait, did she send you to find me? Please do not tell her you saw me. Yes. But I have my reasons. I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed, even. She... she tried to treat me as her dead husband. It was not healthy for her. You don't want to know. She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people, and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people, living people. Please, 
Will you destroy me? But, but why? Yes, yes I am. It seems I must resign myself to my fate, to be a droid. A second class being with no rights at all, so be it then. I shall return to her.
Huh?
You have done a great thing. One of our own had strayed, but you have returned Juhani to the Order. For this you deserve the highest praise. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my... my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side. To see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. Quatra's methods may seem strange, but I trust her wisdom. This lesson has been difficult, but I am better because of it. Humility is never easy to teach, but now I truly understand my own limitations. You can't expect to get everything handed to you on a silver platter. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide, you, back to the light when I left. Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy, and she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training, though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. Hey, I'm glad to see you're not getting hung up on all this. The past is in the past, you know? Giving you a second chance like this is a clear sign of weakness. Sometimes I find it hard to believe the Jedi could defeat my people in battle. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. I do not know what the Council has in You have done well, my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified, and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani has been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations, Apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our Order.
It is good to see Johnny has returned to the Way of the Light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Dantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. We do not know. That is one of the things you must investigate. We fear the worst. Is there anything else you want to know? Bastila. Bastila was there when Revan was slain. Bastila herself does not like to talk about it. She was accompanying the strike team that confronted Revan when the Dark Lord was destroyed. Her role in the death of such a promising young Jedi as Revan upset her greatly. But Bastila knew she had to set her personal feelings aside for the sake of the galaxy and the Republic. The Force is strong with her now. And without her skill in battle meditation, we would have lost. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. I demand justice! The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine! They must be punished! The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Metale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof, and we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing! How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised, Alan Matali, we will look into his son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in our real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. The task has its own importance. It may also serve to divert our minds for a short time. Something which carries its own rewards. <laughs> I must congratulate you on your actions. You have saved Johanni and brought her back into the Order. And have given us all great hope for your future success. May the Force be with you as you continue your training. I have nothing left to teach you, Padawan. Though a Jedi is ever learning. Even the Masters know their training is but in its infancy. Now is the time for you to seek wisdom outside the training chambers. The lessons that yet await you are to be found beyond the walls of this academy. You should speak to the Council, Padawan. Now that the first stage of your training is complete, I am certain they would be eager to have you aid us in our struggle against Darth Malak and the Sith. Greetings, young Padawan. Have you come seeking knowledge of the path? As chronicler of the academy... You should ponder the... May the fo Your training is now complete, Padawan. And when we heard of the rule, we sent a Jedi to the fo this. 
are jet. If Shen Matali is not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. We must not allow that to happen. You should ask Master Vuk about that, Padawan. He is in charge of our relations with the settlers. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila, and for you. You must... For good or ill, you are now a true Padawan. The time has come for you and Bastila to investigate the dream you shared. The secrets to stopping Malak may lie hidden within the ancient Dantuin ruins you both saw in your visions. For good or ill, I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the course. I don't understand why the Jedi Council are hiding here. Shouldn't they be helping the Republic? Oh, thank you, thank you. I don't know what I would have done if I had lost him. It's just so great to have him back. We're just gonna go right home, right now, and celebrate. Aren't we my lovely little droid? Don't worry, I'm gonna hug you, and oil you, and care for you, and make sure you never, ever get away again. Would you have any cheery eye? Baba, she wants a paper can teach her not cheery. Don't she want a paper can teach Baba.
I'm here. How can I help? It was less of a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us shared. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. Are you wondering why we shared the vision? Or why we even received it in the first place? To the first, I can only repeat the answer that the Council gave us. Our fates are linked. And for two as strong as we are in the Force, that amounts to a near-physical bond. As to the second, I truly don't have an answer for you. The Force works as it will, and perhaps we should be grateful for what we've been given. I... I don't know. Believe me, I certainly don't find the prospect of being joined to you enjoyable in any fashion. The Force often seems to cause events that bend the laws of probability, especially with those that are strongly affiliated with it. In this respect, you and I will simply have to become accustomed to such convenience. We are the tools of the Force, and we will do as it wills. There is no evidence one way or the other. What you believe the Force to be ultimately will decide who you are. What would you like to know? Perhaps because we desired to. Perhaps because they came to this planet and were strong enough in the Force to leave a, a trace. That would not be my first choice either, but choice appears to be irrelevant in this matter. We dreamed about Revan and Malak either because we were meant to or because we needed to. There is no other way to look at it. Are you wondering why we shared the vision? To the first, I can ask... I, I don't know. Believe me, I certainly don't find... Then perhaps the sooner we see to our destiny, the sooner we can proceed on our separate paths. That seems a logical solution, no? What would you I have no idea. It was obviously important, however. That is why we must investigate this further. And are you so certain that it is not you in my dreams? I see. That is most likely vanity speaking for I am not certain myself. Regardless, our fates are linked. The vision was no doubt meant for us both. I've... With luck, we will. I would rather not rely on such visions to guide us, but when we have so little else to go on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance, And are you so certain? I see. Perhaps because we desired to. And what else should we dream about except that which is most important to our fate? We dreamed about Revan and Malak either because we were meant to or because we needed to. There is no other. Are you wondering to the first us? I, I don't. Please. Forgive me. I did not mean to imply that you were repulsive in any sense of the word. That we shared something so personal is just not something I'm used to. As you wish.
I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. Uh, there must be some mistake. <laughs> These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. It's obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Starforge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. Though in fact, it could be anything. Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. But I suspect the Starforge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. Yeah. 
must be talking about poor Nemo. The council sent him here to investigate, and it cost him his life. Revan and Malak unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malak is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us.
Be what Revan and Malak found when they entered this temple. This must be where their journey down the dark side began. This is a, a map, some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malak must have used this to lead them to the Starforge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves, but we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. I don't know, but Revan and Malak were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type, or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more, but I think this map might be the key to finding the Starforge, whatever it is. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek, and Tatooine, and here's Manan. But there are pieces missing, incomplete hyperspace coordinates data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Starforge itself might be. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Starforge, but I know that Revan and Malak visited Korriban at least once. 
Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Starforge. And some way to destroy it. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action. Though I suspect our task has only just begun. How can I help? No, not bothering. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Our fates are strongly connected. So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Don't worry, these are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? Which planet were you born? Excellent. The current ages? Yes. The truth is, I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. I see. I didn't mean to upset you, but I suppose it was inevitable. You've had a lot to absorb since we escaped Taurus. I apologize. We can speak again later, after you've had time to think about all this. Psst. 
Kukora Thank you. 
Master Jar tells me you have successfully completed the tests. And I even see you have constructed your own lightsaber. You should be proud of your accomplishment. But never forget that you still have much to learn. As your power grows, you will constantly face temptations to slip to the dark side. This is the eternal struggle of the Jedi. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will... I... Aren't you just a sweet little droid? Yes, you are. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done if I'd lost him. Oh, it's just... We're just gonna go... Don't... Please kill me. You have returned, young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? This news of a Starforge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi, no victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Star Forge. But all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the Dark Side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets. But it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. Ever brash, ever disrespectful, this is what we have pinned our hopes on? Peace, Brook. We have discussed this. There is no other choice. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war. By defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith, but it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you, for there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. Of course, those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. 
but the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. You can leave whenever you wish, the sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. May the Force be with you in your quest. It is well that you are still alive, Padawan, in that you have not yet managed to fail us completely. Why is it that you are now bothering me instead of seeking out the Star Man? The Sandrals and Matalis have been at odds ever since they came to this planet, and have been making my life difficult the entire time as well. Now, Alan Matali accuses Nurik Sandral of stealing his son, Shen. Nurik Sandral's own son, Cassis, has been missing for a while now. We do not know what has happened. Alan is rash enough and stupid enough to start a war over any imagined slight. We would resolve this, but we have too few Jedi to spare. It must be resolved peacefully. Their estates are both located to the south of the Enclave. The Sandral, fairly far. It would normally be your duty to assist in such matters, but your primary task takes precedence. If you are stuck on the planet for a while, you may investigate. I would recommend starting at the estate of Alan Matale. You have a mission to attend to, Padawan. And as much as I may wish it otherwise, you are only hope. The Council has placed the fate of the galaxy within your hands. I pray both you and Bastilla are able to emerge from this ordeal as servants of the light. May the Force be with you, young Padawan. You must not fail in your mission. Find the star maps that lead to the Star Forge. This is the only way to stop Malak and his Sith followers. You and Bastilla are the galaxy's last desperate hope. But beware that dark side. Bastilla will guide you, but she herself is young and new to the ways of the Jedi. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. May the Force be with... <laughs> I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before, in the Grove. It was wrong of me. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes, and in my own. Thank you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me, even though I try to take your life. I can only hope that, in our time journeying together, I will succeed.
So this is the meddler. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. Thank <laughs> you. 
Your wish?
once.
How can I help? I do. How did you know? An amusing description, but hardly the truth. We both know the real reason you have some idea of what I'm thinking. The bond we share. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. The choices you make could affect both our destinies. Not to mention the fate of the Republic and the entire galaxy. There is much at stake. Already you exhibit the kind of willfulness, erratic behavior, and lack of compassion that will lead you to corruption. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. I'm sorry if I come across as harsh, but I am concerned. For you? For our mission, and for myself as well. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. Yes, that is true. I will do my best to guide you, but I am no master. Not yet. And there are times when I find the sheer strength of your power almost overwhelming. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. No, of course not. Not yet. But there will be challenges ahead that might make it otherwise. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission.